Today, the Department of Health reported its third highest death toll since the pandemic began. Here at home, that brings the total number of people killed by COVID-19 closer to 1,000. Many of those deaths have been, as you know, at nursing homes. 10 News reporter McKinley Struther talked with some of those nursing homes about the rising death tally and the help that's on the way. Congregate care and uh, long-term care was impacted tragically by this pandemic. And even as 2021 marches on, those facilities continue to be hard hit, especially in the Rockbridge County, Lexington community. Just trying to keep COVID out of community is like trying to, to hold back a tornado. Alan Cosby is the senior vice president of Trio Healthcare, a company that manages Shenandoah Health and Rehab in Buena Vista. We have a large outbreak at that facility over the last several months. All have recovered now. As of this report, that facility has no positive patients. 14 people at the facility have died since the pandemic began, the last one on January 6th. We reached out to other area facilities who either declined to comment or have not returned our calls. Kendall at Lexington was recently hit hard with 16 deaths occurring at Borden Health Center within the last month, according to a company spokesperson. The light at the end of the tunnel vaccines. The Manor of Natural Bridge gets their first doses from CVS tomorrow morning. They have about 48 residents to vaccinate. Kendall at Lexington issued their first doses last week. Shenandoah Health and Rehab begins on Monday. They'll vaccinate staff members, they'll vaccinate residents, they'll also vaccinate other health care. You know, any, any health care provider that we work with, we've offered the vaccine to. It's their fighting chance to save more lives. Reporting on McKinley Struther, 10 News, working for you.